Good, and Demetrius is here in for Tom tonight. And we've yes. got some rain coming, huh? More. More of days like this. I mean, there's something about a nice, you know, especially if it's a work day, you know, you no, know, okay. Wait, you like, you like yeah, when rainy it rains? Yeah, rainy days you're working. Because I'm working, there's yeah. a lot more that's going on. But you still have like to get problem. into work, so you don't want to deal with the rain so. to get into work. I know. Okay. All right. Something to look. talk about. Listen, when I'm off, I mean, when I'm at work, I, I hate when it looks beautiful. Yeah. You just look outside <laughs> the office window and it looks like this, right? But when it's raining, yeah, you know, it's a Tuesday. Let's take a look at how things are going to be for us today. We'll get this, uh, changing conditions. This is obviously lat later in the day. You can see that, you know, at one point we had the rain, we had showers and thunderstorms, and we got sunshine. We had breezy conditions at one point. It was basically like six forecasts uh, kind of packed into one day. And now we're still seeing these showers and thunderstorms. This is a heck of a low pressure system. A lot of times, oftentimes, uh, even I'd say most times, once the sun goes down, these storms just kind of, what I like to say, coast into neutral. They lose their energy. They're spawned by the heat of the day and the fact that there's cooler air aloft, but not the case. You see, you know, some, you know, I'd even say some powerful thunderstorms still continuing very far away from the center of circulation. And all this lightning is still there. Fortunately for us, there's nothing really headed our way. As we look down to the southwest, you can see that things are kind of petering out. I think the lake played a nice role in kind of keeping us safe, if you will. Uh, most of the storms didn't cross I-39 or really I-80. Uh, earlier today, but right now we're seeing those storms just kind of linger into Lee and Ogle counties at this time. And that's going to be the case for much of this evening. They are showing signs of weakening, but still, you know, a lot of lightning associated with them. Now, here's what we expect into tonight. We're going to see scattered showers and thunderstorms um, west of us. Then for tomorrow, another chance for rain. Tomorrow, I think it'll be a lot like today, off and on showers and thunderstorms, probably not severe, just like today. Uh, and then as we get into Thursday, cloud cover will be prevalent for the morning. During the afternoon, there's going to be just a monumental shift in the weather when we start to see some sunshine that will come our way. Take a look at rainfall numbers uh, into Lake Geneva. Over an inch today, University of Chicago Lab Schools just about an inch in Rochelle. They got that little bit over the last few hours there. Actually a lot. They brought them over, kicked them over one inch. As you look towards Soldier Field, we've seen about two thirds of an inch and just a little bit less than that Air Force Academy High School. Edgewater, kind of changing conditions. We had the cloud cover. We had some waves there along the beach. Then the sun came out. You can kind of tell that we're getting late in the day as those shadows uh, are cast a little bit longer. But uh, you can notice that just, you know, a little bit of everything. Waves started to pick up in, in intensity gradually here in Michigan City. And right now in Dyer, Indiana, we're at 66 degrees. Tinley Park reading at 65. Here's a look from the Field Museum. We are dry at this time. We do have some clouds which are off in the distance. The potential for some fog, I think, even into tonight, especially areas that do clear out. This month so far has been warmer than normal. It's going to end out warmer than normal also because temperatures are actually going to go up over the next couple days. The average temperature, that's where you factor in that morning low and the afternoon high, 69.6 degrees. Normal would be a little three plus degrees cooler than that. So today's high temperature was 73. Uh, the uh, typical high this time of the year would be 72. There it is. At Midway, we got to 74. At the lakefront, 70 this afternoon. Now we're at 69. Temperatures are going to continue to drop, but not much. Winds out of the east at 7 miles per hour, blowing off the lake. 68 now for Waukegan, 67 into Bartlett, 65 right now. Aurora, down to our south, we got 62 for Piatone. Into Joliet, we're at 68. And Oswego reading at 65 degrees. Valparaiso, you're 61, and Rensselaer is at 63. Peru, you're currently at 67 degrees. Eh, the temperature is comfortable right now. These are your current wind speeds. Wind's blowing off the lake between about, uh, I'd say, 3 and up to 10 miles per hour. Not very windy. We don't have much at all in terms of wind gusts. 16 miles per hour in Chicago. Crystal Lake reading at uh, 10 miles per hour or so. And again, here's that system as it continues to churn out to our west. Notice, though, across the country with this blocking pattern in place, lots of gulf moisture across the southeast. That big old high pressure system is going to be here. Your two low pressure systems there, uh, and they are, you know, th that high is blocking everything. So there's basically a traffic jam across the country. If you notice, I can put my hand here, you notice nothing's moving from west to east. Same here as you look in the Pacific Northwest. Very little movement uh, from west to east at this time. That's because we have this, it's called a blocking pattern. That's exactly what it does. Just kind of block things from moving across the country. Fortunately for us, or those of us who don't like the rain, we we can expect to see this rain just taper for one or continue one day, then taper off as we get into tomorrow night. And then by Thursday, again, sunshine comes our way. 
I think some cloud cover. A lot of times with a closed low, they just have that, that last little push that maybe will bring us a shower in early in the morning Thursday. Certainly some cloud cover, but by 8 p.m., this thing's going to be opened up and flattened out. We're not really worried about it. You can see that that high will just kind of meander into this area, and things will get quite nice. Here's how things are going to be for us tonight. Down to 60 for a low temperature, mostly cloudy. Showers and storms, mainly across the southern and western periphery of the viewing areas, so mainly outside of I-39, south of I-80. Tomorrow we're up to uh, 70 for a high temperature. That's a little bit cooler than normal, but we do this again with showers and thunderstorms possible. Thursday, though, we got a high of 71. Again, by th late Thursday afternoon, evening, it will be a much nicer day. Here's how things look on the seven day forecast. Speaking of nicer, how about this? Friday, 75. Now, see, on the weekend, most of us off, then you want it nice, right? 78 there. So, uh, Sunday, we're up to 78 also. Monday, we climb to 